G'day guys, Billy here. Well, back out bush. I'm still looking for more sandalwood trees, nuts, guys. Sandalwood tree nuts. Anyway, just to do a couple of videos while I'm out here. I did notice this piece of tin. Should we lift it? There might be something interesting underneath. Childhood memories, guys. Always lifting up tin and seeing what's underneath it. It could be a bobtail or a snake or... I doubt it guys, it's pretty warm so that tin's going to be pretty hot, but you never know, there could be some out under there. No, nothing there guys, but definitely signs of uh, creepy crawlies. But yep, the tin is red hot too guys, so it's a pretty warm day. So, this little patch of bush, guys, would have been part of the uh, Aboriginal reserves. So, back in the old days when the Aboriginal people were basically kicked off their land, they were forced into what's called Aboriginal reserves. So, this old uh, prickly pear is um, probably the last remnants of uh, the Aboriginal people living in this area. They die. Uh, Unsure what they use a prickly pear for guys. Obviously it is edible the fruit the flower and uh, So much more but I know quite a few Aboriginal reserves around this area. There's always prickly pear. Look at this one guys. It's beautiful Ancient guys. I don't know how old it'd be. It'd be pretty old Look at the size of those ears or whatever they're called yeah, absolutely beautiful, but this is definitely edible guys the fruit and the flower and I've never ever eaten it before I wonder what it tastes like That's a beautiful flower I'll do a bit of research and find out about it being edible and what it tastes like guys I'd grab some guys but I've just got no gloves and I don't want to get stung by that little those little prickly pear spikes but I do have memories of trying to attempt to eat them when we were kids but you know I can't really obviously after seeing western movies you know we'd watch a western movie where they'd be surviving off a cactus and then we'd go out exploring at the bush and come across these prickly pears and try and do it ourselves, but probably failed. I don't know, guys. Just childhood memories. They're beautiful to see them flowering. But yep, this is definitely where the Aboriginal people would have lived in this area back in the old days when they were relocated to these little bush reserves. That's right by the railroad track. The railroad track goes from Dumbuyong to Lake Grace. Lake Grace is about 70 kilometres away. The, the railway is only used for transporting grain these days. It used to be a passenger service back in the probably ended, it would have ended in the 1950s. The old passenger trains. But yeah, anyway, guys, look. Yep, these ones aren't. Hold on. We'll grab it, eh? There you are, we'll grab them. They haven't got many, th many uh, thorns on them. And I'll take them home and we'll have a taste. Look at that, guys, oh, got thorns on my fingers. Okay, that'll be interesting. We'll see what they taste like. I'm pretty sure you can eat these. You can eat the whole 
the whole plant as far as my way, but I'll grab this one too. You can probably make alcohol out of them. Let's say it'd be used for alcohol as well. My fingers have got spikes in them now. And I suppose you just take that a leaf cutting like this one here and just pot into your plant, into your terracotta pot and grow it just from that little ear or whatever it's called. There is another beautiful prickly pear outside of Dumbiong in another location at another Aboriginal reserve and it's really important to the local Noongar Aboriginal people. I think I've actually done a video on it. I'll see if I can find it. I'll put the link below. But anyway, they've done, all the Noongar people, their families have carved their names into the ears of the prickly pear. So I'll see if I can find the actual video and I'll link it below. It's at a more famous Aboriginal reserve where they used to actually have a beautiful old mud brick house out there as well a long time ago. I've done metal detecting up there as well guys and found a lot of old pennies and stuff like that. But anyway guys, one of the main reasons I'm out here today is because I'm desperately looking for sandalwood nuts. And this is a beautiful little sandalwood tree right here. So let's hope we can find... Oh yes, I can see some. Oh good, I must some beautiful fresh sandalwood nuts guys and this is what I'm after still got the red top skin on it so okay I'll open it up guys and I'll show you what they look like you can't eat the skin of the sandalwood tree you can on the Kwangdong tree a very uh, close family member to the sandalwood uh, but the sandalwood you can't eat the skin you can eat the actual nut okay but on the Kwangdong you can eat the skin it makes a beautiful uh, Kwangdong jam or a sauce, or um, a bre even a nice breakfast um, type uh, stew. It's like stewed Kwangdong skins. It's really, really tasty, guys. Next winter, I'll do a video on making stewed Kwangdong skins. Okay, so anyway, I'll open up this and I'll show you what the colour of the seed should be for, you, for anyone who's interested in looking for uh, cinderwood nuts. So you want to get the, the actual seed, what looks a certain colour, okay? You don't want to pick up the wrong type seed. So I'm just going to open up my teeth. So that's what this colour of the, the nut should look like and the actual seeds inside the nut. So it's like a khaki type colour, guys, a khaki type colour. Or maybe a light brown. I'd just say khaki. Looks khaki to me, a light brown type colour. So that's what I'm after, guys. Some nice fresh sandalwood nuts. This one here's already started to open in the sun. See the little crack? So that's the seed will germinate through that crack there. Um, so these ones here, these are all pretty fresh. They've still got the skin on them. Even though it's gone a bit black. Just squash it with your fingers and then we've got to prepare these seeds. This one's already basically prepared. I don't even know if these ones are viable. I'm going to take them anyway, guys. But I'm after that. After seeds, what have still got a nice khaki colour. Okay, you don't want to pick up the wrong type of seed. Alright, my fingers are full of spikes on those bloody prickly pears. So I'm after, I don't know guys, as many as I can find, at least a hundred. It's the first time I've actually come to this tree before. I've, I, know, I, knew, I knew that it was here, but I've never collected seeds from this tree before. And obviously guys, it needs a host. The sandalwood will only grow with a host tree species. I'm trying to find its host. It's unusual. 
I can't see any dead host. The only dead tree I can see is this casuarina, so I'm probably using this casuarina tree as a host. There's two dead casuarina trees here. So the sandalwood tree will only grow with another host tree, a casuarina, which is not really unusual because in India, in India they use a casuarina tree as hosts for the sandalwood tree, but mainly in Western Australia they use a jam tree, the Acacia acuminata. So there's a jam tree right here, that one in the middle of the screen, that's like an Acacia acuminata, the jam tree or the raspberry wattle tree, the, oh, sorry, the raspberry jam tree, I just call it the jam tree, or the acacia cuminata. And I think the species name for the sandalwood is a, the santalum something, the santalum. Just heard a bit of rustling in the grass, guys. I just saw a few kangaroos before. But anyway, we'll just continue picking up these nuts, guys, and... I can't see any dead host trees, so it must be using these sandalwood trees. Sorry, these are uh, jam trees. Oh, what am I saying? These casuarina trees as a host tree. Okay, so whenever you come across a sandalwood tree, there's always going to be a dead tree next to it. Okay, and most often it will, will be the jam tree. In this case, it looks like it's three uh, casuarina trees. Maybe four casuarina trees. This one's fallen, dead. And the host tree will always die, okay? So the sandalwood tree needs the nutrients and other certain uh, nutrients of the host tree to survive. All right, guys, we'll continue going. You've seen the video, picking up beautiful sandalwood nuts like this and uh, a prickly pear and a few other things so thanks for watching guys and it's just a beautiful uh, tree for the perfume and also for sandalwood oil all right we'll continue going guys thanks for watching see ya and i'll do a taste test this soon